And Monique Patino joins us this morning along with her supervisor, Captain Patrick Maxwell of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. Good morning to the both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Monique, I know you were able to meet Carlos for the first time. You call him your little hero. What was that like for you? Um, it was tough. <laughs> I was very nervous. Um, it's been a crazy past two days. <laughs> I can only imagine, and you're a mom, and I, and I know that affects you deeply when something like this happens. When you first heard his little voice uh, on the phone, did you ever think maybe this is a prank call? Um, you know, I didn't. Um, I felt the fear in his voice, both of them. I could hear them initially in the beginning of the call. Um, I didn't feel that in any way, not at all. And, and what about when this call essentially ends? You hear the screaming. What's going through your mind at that point? Um, terror. I'm shaky. I'm nervous. I'm scared. I'm more scared for them, and um, it was a little unbearable. <laughs> I can I can only imagine, Captain Maxwell. I know the investigation is continuing. Uh, any word this morning? Are you any closer uh, to finding the suspects? Uh, unfortunately, not at this time. We're, like I said, we're still using the media to ask for the public's help and trying to identify these suspects. Uh, we're just happy the family was safe, and we'd really like parents out there to have this as a learning experience to teach their children how to use 911. This this kid did a fantastic job for a seven-year-old. He did a lot better than most adults that call in during emergencies. And 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 that was because his mother did exactly as you are recommending, correct? She taught her kids how to call 911. Yeah, she always told Carlos on the way to school if a stranger ever tried to come up to him to run, hide, or call 911. And he just, you know, reverted back to uh, what we say in police work is his training, and he did what, what he was taught. You may have a future officer on your hands there. Uh, any indication that these suspects uh, may have known the family at all? You know, at this time, in every home invasion robbery, there's some type of motivation. Um, it can even be mistaken identity of, of the wrong house. They, they're going there to look for something they believe it is there. That why it was so critical for Carlos to call us because as the suspects were in there, if they had the wrong house and were seeking some type of uh, valuables and they weren't there, who knows what would have happened to that family. I, I really credit Carlos with possibly saving the whole family's life. And are you surprised that the, the, that the suspects actually turned and ran when Carlos said to them, hey, I just called 911? Uh, not really, because um, our response time to the uh, Monique did a fantastic job. And what people don't realize is when she's talking to Carlos, within the first 30 seconds, cars were already rolling there. I even happened to be out in the field, and we had multiple call, car, cars there within three minutes and a helicopter over within about five minutes. Uh, Monique, for you, as we mentioned, you are a mom. When you went home that day, when you went to pick up your son, what's the first thing you did? hug him. <laughs> um, I, I just made dinner and just hung out at home and just hung out on the couch and just loved him. <laughs> Best thing to do. Monique Patino, Captain Patrick Maxwell, really appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.